Okay, so identifying important physical properties of liquids. Identifying important physical properties of liquids. That's what this is about, right? Okay. Two point or 20, 248 grams of two different liquids are poured into beakers. Okay, so I've got A and B. And the mass of each of them is 248. 248, right, in grams. Okay. This is what the beakers look like just after liquids are poured into them, all right? Boom, and boom. So the volume is what I'm seeing is the difference here. The volume is, um, oh, I don't know. Let's just say one. And if that's volume one, what's this volume over here? Look at that. If that volume is one, what's this volume? Did you say two or three? Okay, it's more, right? Okay. Now, what's different about liquids A and B? Well, if we're supposed to, your answer should be a one or two word name of a physical property. So we could say volume is different, but that's not a physical property, right? That's an extensive property. What is a physical property? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my notes and I'm gonna look up physical properties. And the physical properties that I see, first of all, are viscosity, which is resistance to flow. surface tension, which is resistance to increase in surface area, right? And then finally, what's the third one? Let's see, what's the third one? Oh, vapor pressure. Vapor pressure, right? Which is how fast something evaporates, okay? The higher the pressure, the faster it evaporates, okay? So viscosity, surface tension, and vapor pressure, and none of these, uh, uh, have to do with viscosity, surface tension, or vapor pressure. So we have to stop and say to ourselves, well, what's going on here? Well, if I've got mass and I've got volume, or I've got some relative volume, right? So this is not an actual volume, it's a relative, because I didn't say what the units are. But I do know, watch this, that density is equal to mass per volume. I know that. So if I can put both, I can express the ratio of those two simply as density, okay? And that's the answer. All right, hope that's helpful. Uh, go consider, if you, if you lost this in a recent knowledge check, consider going back over these and reading the definitions of them again, and of course, uh, practicing this problem again. I think it'll come to you uh, pretty soon. Best wishes.